Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today we're going to be talking about Google trying to rig the 2020 elections. And the reason why maybe tomorrow I won't have a channel anymore. So I don't know if you guys are a part of what's going on right now, but there have been a lot of development on some videos that came out and all about Google actually talking about rigging the elections and okay they didn't directly say they're gonna rig the elections but they will change their algorithm to move people's opinions towards the democrats and not the conservative party so i'm just uh hit a couple of things with you guys so this is from the website new american uh they have a few websites covering that right now and it says, Google is gearing up to defeat Trump in 2020. A new expose from Project Verita showed that Google is working to defeat Donald Trump in 2020. Project Verita has published documents from Google that demonstrated its anti-conservative bias, as well as a video of top Google executive who admitted the globe-stranding tech behemoth we use its artificial intelligence technology to stop Trump's re-election. And yet another whistleblower told Project Veritas that what Google means by fairness isn't what users mean, and the anti-Trump work at the company includes rigging the outcomplete feature of its search engine to favor the hard left. AI attack. Project Veritas' key revelation comes from Jan Jani. Google's chief of responsible innovation, a title itself that telegraphs what her job is, deep sixing Trump and going to war against conservatives. We all got screwed in 2016. Again, it wasn't us. It was the people got screwed over. The news media got screwed over. Like, everybody got screwed over. So we rapidly been like, what happened there? and how we prevent it from happening again, again I said. And all that, she talks this way, okay? As well, we're also training our algorithms, like, if 2016 happened again, would we have, would the outcome be different? Apparently, Americans who vote for Trump don't understand fairness, and so Google was forced to step in to rectify that failing and ensure his defeat. The reason we launched our AI principles because people are not putting that line in the sand. They were not saying that's fair and what's equitable. So we're like, we're a big company. We're going to say it. Unsurprisingly, again, I think fairness about pushing victim ideology. And I know what you guys are thinking. SJWs. Yes. My definition of fairness and bias specifically talks about historical marginalized communities. And that's what I care about. Communities who are in power and have traditionally been in power are not who I'm solving fairness for. Okay, so I'm an American, but I was born in Brazil. Uh, I became an American. And I'll tell you this. So. Since Brazilians do not qualify as Hispanic, as African-Americans, as Asians or anything like that, I'm probably on, on really like the lowest, lowest, lowest percentage of the American population. So it's probably for me. I mean, my heart, my heart feels so intensely important right now. But you know what? I'd rather have my goddamn choice. Okay. First of all, I am a Democrat, but if I think a candidate is just worthless to me, I would vote conservative because in the end, it's about your country. It's not about who is the douche that is in power. Okay, so just, just take that in that way. You want to be able to have all the information you need to make your choices, okay? But if you only have half of the information, or if everything you look about the other person is negative, even if the only negatives the person have are five or six things, well, 
you really can't choose. And us as a nation, the most important thing on any free nation, the whole entire world, is pretty much their right to choose their president and their representatives. So when someone rigs an election, it's taking that power from you. Okay, we talk about dictatorships, we talk about all that stuff, but that's what dictators do. They tell you who to choose, and they don't give you an option. All right? So, let me keep going here. Jenai correctly observed that the same people who voted for the current president who do not agree with our definition of fairness. And whatever her love for Democratic president candidate Elizabeth Warren, Gena is concerned about her plan to break up Google because Trump might be re-elected. All right, so I, I just want to show you guys something. I, I've been doing some tests on YouTube and Google, and some of that have to do with my one of my next videos. It's just a lot of stuff's coming up, a lot of important stuff that I'm trying to cover. And one of the things is, everybody hears the expression men's planning. So, but also there is that expression women's planning. So I decided to search YouTube for women's planning. And that's what YouTube did to me. Let's open a new session. It's all right. Women's planning. Women's work, women's work, oh, oh, what? So the only one that is showing first is the one I actually had searched yesterday. So it wasn't a suggestion from YouTube or Google, that was what I wrote. And it helped complete this man's planning. Now if I write Trump, everything that shows about Trump is mostly negative and by no means I mean there should be so much positive stuff with everything that is being reported on the news and all but even if that was something about him as a businessman something else should have showed up okay now when I write Elizabeth Warren I just need to put two letters and she appears on the autocomplete I don't know, I could be trying to say El Mariachi or something like that, no? And everything is good about her. I guarantee there's at least one news station that is not on her favor, okay? But somehow, she's a perfect person because Google and YouTube are making sure to tell you that. My only problem with this is this is taking people's choice away. And Google's trying to shut a lot of people down. I mean, you guys, I'm going to leave links below, but you should check the quartering. Um, I'm going to try to link the exact videos that he's trying to cover that. But what Google does when you comment on things like I'm doing and as he does, they just shut you down. Like, people don't even know your facts exist if someone else doesn't you know, refer you because YouTube will not definitely refer you because you're reporting on stuff in that they don't want you to know. So, I mean, you don't need to refer my video. If you do, it would be great. But check the quartering. Check out this guy. He's having a hard time. He's He has like half a million followers, over half a million. And I know his numbers because I check his channel a lot. When he reports about that issue, he's getting a lot less views and it's not by people's choice. It's just not showing. And on top of that, what I know probably going to happen is uh, my revenue can be cut as hell for actually talking about this issue. And that's the same thing that everybody who does are having issues with. And that's why you have about one or two people discuss that issue on the internet right now on YouTube because Google would just screw you over on that. So keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. It doesn't matter if you're conservative. 
you still should believe in the system, right? I mean, that's what gives you the freedom. That's what makes the United States be the best country in the world. Don't let people just take it for granted and try to do whatever they want. First of all, rigging elections is a federal offense, okay? Sure, you can do it in a certain way that you can't really call it rigging, but don't let people or companies do that. Um, honestly, that's how dictatorships start. That's how, you know, that people in World War II, yeah, they try to tell you what to do and what to think. That's pretty much that. So, share this video, give me a like, leave a comment, check out the quartering and every other channel that is actually covering that kind of stuff. Give them your support. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys got to this point in the video, thank you very much. I know I'm not the best reader. And I'm also when the, they're literally transcribing exactly what the person said and the person sounds like grew up in, I don't know, the valley. And I'm sorry for offending anybody with, oh my God, I don't know. Well, you know, yeah, I do that. I'm sorry. I love to do voices. I love to mess with people. That's my thing. Everybody have their thing. That's me. Okay. Again, hey, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. And if you Google and YouTube, don't kick me out of the platform. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Have a good night.